Hi, Gemini. This is your Just Cause reading for January 2022. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for January 2022. In love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini. For January 2022, in love, universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for January 2022, in love, show me, you guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reverses so gemini Gemini, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Gemini, this is you. This is your partner. So, Gemini, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For January 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Gemini, is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is either you or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Gemini, listen, everything has come to a screeching halt either with you guys' commitment or we could be dealing with practicality, money, assets, resources, property. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value brand new practical beginnings here so listen i mean maybe things were stagnant for a while and finally picked up maybe this was a long time coming okay practicality money assets resources property accepting a gift giving a gift going out on a date if you guys were stagnant or commitment here so gemini you have strength you have the eight of pentacles you have the king of wands your partner has the world. Your partner has the Knight of Cups. And your partner has the Five of Pentacles. So, Gemini. The mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is you guys may have been stagnant, but maybe someone is coming in with an offer for practicality or a commitment. Let's go out on a date. I don't know. This could also be something slowed down tremendously with you guys' practicality, money, assets, resources, property. Maybe it was a long time coming. Maybe something is coming in here. Gemini, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. 
But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Gemini, I could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that, hey, I'm feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or you're trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Gemini. Clarify strength for Gemini. I'm so sorry. My cards just flew everywhere. Goodness. I'm so sorry. Honey, 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 and flipping. Clarify strength for Gemini. Clarify strength for Gemini. Clarify strength for Gemini. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, you know, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Gemini. Clarify the hermit. For Gemini, clarify the hermit. For clarify the hermit. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity. But she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Gemini, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh, someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that hmm, dealing with this person from your past they're in the past. You had to cut them off here and you mustered the strength and courage to do so. However, you can tell me that, hey, maybe you're thinking about wanting to reunite with this person, doing some heavy duty soul searching here and maybe mustering your strength and courage to go into this person. We'll see. OK, Gemini, you have the eight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Gemini, listen, yes, this can have something to do with work or business and finances here. However, you can tell me that you're wanting to work things out or willing to put in the work. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. You know, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Gemini. Clarify the Empress for Gemini. Clarify the Empress for Gemini. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, <clears throat> illusions. 
but having many options. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're thinking about it, you're all up in your head, maybe fantasizing about nurturing the relationship and working things out with this person, and maybe even doing some soul searching, thinking about coming in, maybe wanting to reunite with this person. But listen, you could also tell me that there may have been something going on at work with someone. Someone may have had options here, and children could be involved. We'll see. Gemini, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. And the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the King of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Gemini, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention or you began to recognize something concerning this person. And this is the action that you're wanting to take here is to maybe bring everything to a screeching halt. However, you guys may have been on hold and they're getting your attention or you're getting their attention because it seems like you're all up in your head wanting to reconcile and work things out with this person. So I feel like we were stagnant, but maybe something new can come in for you guys. Gemini, your partner has the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Gemini, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely here or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Gemini's partner, clarify the world for Gemini's partner, clarify the world for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the page of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Gemini, you know, you guys can be sending each other passionate messages trying to come back around again. You can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument and this is the reason why a cycle closed out here. Or it very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion and this caused a cycle to close out Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. Destiny. Very well, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me, hey, I need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well, could be getting their wish here. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. Clarify the star for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So listen, 
Gemini, I feel like there's going to be a reaching out here. Someone's reaching out with passionate messages here, wanting to come back around, heal things, mend things, work things out, and start new here. After maybe some type of break, because it seems like they're wanting to work things out and you're wanting to work things out. Gemini, your partner has the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, may even be coming in with a romantic gesture. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini's partner. Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Gemini, it just seems like your partner is wanting to put whatever happened between you guys behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, coming in with an apology and a romantic gesture, wanting to start new here. But what caused the breakup? Because you're telling me that, hey, I got to think about it. This person is back. Hey, I'm in my head. I don't know. Should I? Should not work this out? I'm getting attention here. Passionate messages coming in here. What happened though? Your partner has the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, you guys may have broken up and went stagnant here. Clarify the five of pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Gemini, your partner's telling me that you guys have had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe thing going on that caused the breakup. Your partner could tell me that they were pissy mad and this is the reason why they broke up. But I feel like everybody is one. Well, not everybody. It's only two. You guys are definitely on the same page and wanting to get back together. I feel like you guys went stagnant for a while, but there's an offer to start new here. Okay. Dinner and a movie. I don't know. A nightcap. What, what do people do these days? I don't let's go golfing, putt, putt golfing, mini golfing. I don't know. Let's ride ATV vehicles. Um, bumper cars, what is it? <laughs> bumper cars, I don't know, let's go to the shooting range, let's go fishing, crabbing, swimming, deep diving, I don't mountain climbing, whatever people do these days, let's do that. Out to dinner, in a movie, I don't know. Gemini, this is your Just Cause reading for January 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.